Five years ago, Douglas Frazier was a professor at UCLA's medical school. Then, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. It's become a real focus of our lives because Doug can't do much anymore. The progressive brain disease took a toll on him and his wife, Robin. What's the worst part of it is for him that he can't find words. We don't have conversations. And so things are pretty silent around here. Then his therapist suggested a hobby that doesn't involve too many words or too much strain. Ping pong. Table tennis is the best sport, especially for people over 40 years old when they cannot play soccer, basketball. Table tennis is never late to start to play. Frazier started taking one-on-one -on -one lessons at the Gilbert Table Tennis Center in Los Angeles. What it does is um, it activates multiple portions of the brain. The nonprofit Sport and Art Education Foundation began its pilot Alzheimer's and Dementia Table Tennis Therapy program here last April, the only one of its kind in the country. It's all based on a Japanese clinical study that showed table tennis to be a great brain sport for patients with early stage Alzheimer's or other dementia. It requires a, um, a lot of concentration. It requires for the, a person playing to be able to predict where the ball is going to land, you know, to be able to uh, make contact with the ball, and that requires you to stay calm. All these different things and all these different parts of the brain get um, stimulated. According to the Alzheimer's Association, Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia, but there's still no cure. It's the sixth leading cause of death in the United States, and it affects more than five million Americans. If you don't have it, somebody you know will eventually have it. It's, it's always like that. It touches everybody's lives. There's nothing good about it, I'll tell you that. But the ping pong program is good. <laughs> The foundation hopes to eventually license and expand its program worldwide. Alzheimer's disease is still a question that has no answers. But if this program is any proof, it can't hurt to face it armed with a ping pong paddle. Namisha Takor, ATVN.